before I start talking about all this stuff, I want to say a couple things, like two things. First of all, if you are afraid of ever having any panic attacks or anything close to that, I would recommend to not watch this video and watch something completely different. Um, because especially with people with OCD, if they are worried about this, I would recommend watching something that makes you happier. Um, and the second thing is, I am sick, so I'm sorry I'm talking so weird. Um, my nose is all red because I have, like, a runny nose all the time. Um, so if I ever pause the video, I'm getting a tissue. And, or I'm like, I don't know. But, yeah, let's get into the video. So, basically it started when my brother got sick with, um, a cold. And I have something called, um, what's it called, uh, fructose malabsorption, which means I can't have a lot of foods. I, like, my mom says I have the most restricted diet in, like, um, Minnesota, I think. I don't really know, but, um, I can't have stuff like apples, and then garlic, uh, and, what's it called? Fruit, any fruit juice, anything like that. There's a lot more I can't have. I can't have, like, gluten, wheat, and a lot more. And, my brother, Whenever I get a sweet though, it always beats me in a way. I don't know, it's kind of weird, but I don't like getting a sweet though. And it's just weird. And a sweet though isn't fun for anyone, but it's something you have to deal with. And you have to stay hydrated. But my brother got it. He felt, I think a sweet though was gone the next day. And then I got it that night. And that's when all the panic attacks started. When the panic attacks started. I was... Oh, and whenever I get so though, I always don't feel very well. I feel like I'm gonna... throw up or something. When, um... My... When I got sick, I would always have... Like... To rest and stuff, because that's what you have to do. So I did that. I didn't feel good, so I went over to lay next door and mom. My sister was with them. She was one of them was sleeping, one of them wasn't. Um, and I started to kind of not, I started to kind of panic a little bit. And then, um, my, uh, I didn't have my watch in me, so it didn't say if I was breathing correctly anything but I started panicking and I started to feel something I've never felt before I started to feel like my heart was racing and I was gonna die I felt like and I don't want to be like dramatic or anything because this is actually how I felt like I was freaking out I couldn't breathe very well and my throat though even made it worse for it and I'm not trying to get subscribers off of this um not, I, everyone loves getting views on their videos, but for me, I like it, but if people don't, if people think hard about it, I do not like, I don't care about the views, I care about how they feel after watching this video, so I don't want you guys to feel anything bad. So, so, uh, well, I, I feel like I was going to die, I couldn't breathe well, I, what else, my legs were like, sh I was shaking all over the place, my mom was like, Violet, we should cuddle and you should like, I feel like that's going to help you a lot, but that's when I told my mom like a couple minutes while we were cuddling and I was freaking out, I was, I felt like I was going to die, so I told my mom that, and then she said, she called my dad over and I was saying a lot of stuff that kind of ruined my mom a little bit. So she needed my dad and they did all the methods that help. Like they tried to distract me and talking to me. Like they made my real food was. 
Um, but, like, you know, like, stuff like that. I stopped shaking after, like, I'd say it felt like a really long time, but I think it was about 10 or 18 minutes. Ever since that panic attack, because my mom was like, well, you definitely just had a panic attack, and I was like, in that moment, I was actually freaking out. Um, and my mom was telling me I was having a panic attack, and she was trying to calm me down now. Because I am one of these sensitive people in the world, again, like, I really, I'm not, I wasn't ready to talk about this yet, but this happened three nights ago. Um, today I just have really notes and I have a cough and uh, it's hard to talk in a way. But I recommend if you have a panic attack, the methods to do or to lay down, get someone to talk to and distract you, turn on like a show of like really calm music. Calm yourself down, breathe in for six seconds, stop breathing for six seconds, breathe out for six seconds, and then keep doing that. Because when you're having a panic attack, my mom says that yes, you breathe really fast, so you need to catch your breath and you need to look harder. And so I look like a mess, but that's because I'm not feeling very really well. I'm trying to feel better and trying to get myself to feel better. I'm staying hydrated now. I wasn't hydrated at all. Because I was worried it's going to hurt my throat, but you guys, it doesn't actually hurt your throat when you drink water. It makes it better. It's just your taste buds. Oh, yeah. I also have your taste buds. I don't think I have the COVID. I don't think I have COVID. Because if I had COVID, then I'd probably not be able to do much stuff. But you all know. I think I just had a little cold. And not many people know I had a panic attack. I want people to know that if you're having a panic attack, calm yourself down, get some, get um, a guardian to be next to you, like a parent vision or like any guardian that is next to you. Cause it was actually kind of scary for me, but everyone was supporting me. I felt very thankful. The wash over here. Hmm? Sorry, my ears again. And I, I felt very thankful for everybody that loves me. And then once I was done having my panic attack, I was like, Mom, I am so grateful that I don't have parents that are just like so rude and uh, don't care because something, well, I don't know. But I just recommend to help yourself with panic attacks because I am. 10 years old this video. Please don't think I'm trying to scare you. It's, it was just really hard for me. Um, but I'm okay now. Last night I was freaking out a little bit, but I did not feel like that. Just freaking out a little bit. But thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Again, sorry I'm talking like this. I am sick. But yeah. Please enjoy it. And please don't be worried after this video. So, bye. And guys, don't worry. God is with you every step of the time. And that's happening. Have a good day. Bye.